So in this video, I'm going to show you how I shot in my driveway with a few speed lights, a few gels and some powder to come up with this image. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Now to give you a backstory, this is actually a very old video that I'm going to be showing or this is actually a very old shoot. In other words, I shot this one in 2013. Yes, 2013. That's about eight, nine years ago. And just goes to show that basically the same principles of photography and lighting still applies a decade from, well, still applied a decade after. Because I remember, I remember shooting this. Um, it actually just took us about 15, 20 minutes from start to finish, right? And I was actually driving home and I came up with a good idea. And I go, I called up Coco, my wife. I go, babe, can we do this? Can we do that? What time are you coming home? Because she was working at that time. Then she told me that she'll be home in like 30 or 45 minutes. I was like, perfect. Okay. So I went to the drugstore and got basically ordinary baby powder. So I got two big containers because I had this thought of, playing around with gels and speed light and trying to create a lot of color out of nothing. I could have really used um, uh, holy holy powder if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. However, if I did that, I wouldn't have been able to shoot at that specific moment when I wanted to shoot. So sometimes the best ideas come and when it comes, shoot right away so that it, the excitement is still there. Okay, so as I said, I actually shot this in about 20 or 20 minutes, give or take, from start to finish. And I actually have a time lapse here. And fortunately, I actually just, when I was archiving my files, I saw this and I said I wanted to share it with you guys. And I compressed the time lapse into about 30 seconds. And that's what I'll be showing you now. And then afterwards, we'll go into detail on how the shoot actually took place. Okay. I hope you enjoy that. So let's go through it one by one. Basically, the first setup was here. I had one, two, three, four, five lights, basically, as you saw me setting up everything. And I had two lights per each side. And both lights, both speed lights, were connected to my light stands using this one. This is what you call the Manfrotto Justin clamp. In 2013, this was the only way for you to really connect your speed lights properly. Well, not the only way, but this was a very good way for you to do it. It comes with ball heads and then you have a cold shoe here for you to mount your speed light. And of course, you can adjust the direction using this, the, using this ball head. Though I really did enjoy this, but as you can see, there are problems with it already. Plus, this thing doesn't really last. So after a while, I stopped using this one, though it was a fantastic concept. It was a fantastic concept. However, it just really didn't last too long. So you can see here, I had one, two, three, four speed lights, and I had another speed light here with a beauty dish. So with this one, I actually did a test shot first, but I didn't like, and I felt that the, the light coming from here wasn't really that great. That's why I decided to move the light here towards the left side. Now, when I had my light here on the left side, so I used a beauty dish with a grid so that I could focus the light, and I'd made Coco do a test shot. So if you guys are familiar with the channel, you know that Coco has been my muse for the past couple of years. Well, the past couple of years of this YouTube channel. But she has been my muse from the start of my photography life, maybe about 2008 and 2009. So one of Coco's passions is actually dance. So during the time she was still dancing and I go, it's perfect. Let's do some 
powder with some colored gels and you give me a dance step or a dance move well i don't know how to dance so i really don't know how to how to explain the move that she did but i just told her to jump and do something so when i did a test shot with just a beauty dish i personally didn't like the way the light was turning out that's why i decided to just use a uh, bare bulb speed light but zooming it in so by zooming it in i am focusing the light even more more than actually the size of the beauty dish that i had now the question would be what color gels do i use so basically every speed light that i had i had like cut out gel filters that i would just tape to the speed light i have i had a bunch of colors at that time and if you ask me why what was the reason behind the colors to be honest i don't know i just put them all together to see what looked good i didn't have like a color wheel or a color chart to base all the color the decisions of colors it's just a matter of trial and error that's why i did a lot of test shots prior to putting the powder because i knew once we started with the powder it would be very messy and i don't think it would be very easy to breathe afterwards well that's also one of the reasons on why we decided to shoot in the driveway so that it's easy to clean and number two we wanted a pure black background now had to get a pure black background you really need space and for me to have that much space you guys are again if you guys are familiar with the channel you know that i have a small home studio and if i did that in my small home studio everything will be covered with powder and number two i don't think i would have been able to control the light as well as i did since i shot outside i didn't even have a black background anymore as you saw because it was just an area that wasn't being hit by light therefore i got pure black okay so the moment i had my light set up here that's when we started putting powder so i put powder on her hair and at the same time i put it on her back too basically everywhere that i could put powder in and of course after that she did her shot oh she did her jump pose well i did obviously this uh, time lapse thing didn't get to capture it you could see now the driveway and everything that was not being hit by light was basically black you could see it here i was actually tethered oh by the way the camera that i was using at that time was my mamiya 645 df it's a medium format camera with a digital back and i was at iso 25 1 over 125 i think f 5.6 now being at iso 25 1 over 125 I basically removed all existing ambient light already. So all the light that you see here wasn't really captured by the camera. And the flash was the one that froze motion because when you are shooting with flash photography, the flash duration is the one that actually freezes the subject, which is what we were able to do. So you could see here already more or less, I got the shot as similar already to what you see as a final output. However, there was something missing and it was this one. We needed to put more powder in her hair by putting more powder in her hair and other parts of her body when she jumped she basically just like exploded with powder and it was all white and the reason why we got color was because of all the gel filters in my existing flash units which was here 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 and here and again this is the final output so i had one flash here one flash here one flash here one flash here and another one just hitting her face which was also gelled um, a specific color so again this was really brought about by just having a thought basically while we are driving and we put it together so quickly so we just used five speed lights well that is actually a lot but i think you can get away with maybe three for this one you just won't get the difference in colors or you could get away with three and just use holy powder so you could have more colors already you don't really need to color the existing white the white powder the way i did I didn't do it because I didn't have access to holy powder at that time or holly. I think it's called holly or holy. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not familiar with that one because I've never really used it. But again, you can tell me in the comment section what type of powder it is. Well, I didn't have one. Uh, or I didn't have it available at that time. And what I did have was a bunch of speed lights and gel. So it, it was actually okay. It turned out okay. Now, if you have any questions with regards to this video or the process of how I shot this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you guys want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, I do hold one-on-one -on -one online workshops, the details of which I will leave in the description below. Okay, so don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified 
every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.